Hi you guys, my name is Paige and today I have for you a 10 minute core conditioning workout. We're going to work our entire core, our obliques, our lower back. We're going to get a really nice burden today. So I want you guys to first start out by just giving me some nice twists. We're going to really pump some blood into that core, the whole entire torso. I'm going to explain our workout for today. So we're going to start off, we're going to have 10 moves total. Each one we're going to do for 50 seconds and we'll get a 10 second rest in between. 10 totally different moves, working all our lower parts of our core. And we'll get started here in just a second. Just give me a few more twists. We aren't gonna need any equipment for this workout today. I just have a towel, just because we're outside. Beautiful day here in Colorado. You're not gonna need any weights or anything. Just make sure you have water and go ahead and grab just some music for you, a speaker. I'm gonna have the timer going for you, so just make sure you can hear me. We're going in three, two, and one. All right, you guys. First move, we're gonna take it, we're gonna keep it standing. We're gonna have our standing crunches. What I really want here is you're bringing that knee up towards that chest, really feeling that crunch in your stomach. Let me get that timer going. Remember, 50 seconds and then a 10 second break in between. We're going 10 moves back to back and that is your workout for today. Alrighty, 10 seconds, here we go. All right, standing knee crunches in three, two, and one. I'm using those arms to pull my knee straight towards my chest. If you wanna keep your hands on your sides, do something cool with your arms, I don't care. Whatever feels right for you today. With this standing core, we're still warming up our core just a little bit, but we've gotten into our moves, don't worry. First move of the day. Looking good, you guys. Standing nice and tall. Again, adding those arms if we want to. I'm gonna be providing a lot of modifications, so if today you need to use those, go for it. If not, I really want you guys to push yourselves today. We got three, two, and one. All right, you guys, second move of today. We got standing knee crunches. We're crunching those obliques, starting with one side. I'll tell you when to switch to the other. Going in three, two, and one. Really drive that knee up and pointing that elbow to try and touch that knee. We got a soft bend in that standing leg just to help us with our balance. You guys are looking great, keep it going. Getting ready for that switch, we're gonna go to the other side in three, two, and one, here we go. Really feel that crunch in that side, we're working those obliques. Starting off strong, you guys look great. Five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job, you guys. We're gonna bring it down onto our mat, on the ground, whatever it may be. We got laying down, we're gonna bring our opposite knee to the opposite elbow. Then opposite hand to that same foot. So we're going knee to foot. Join me when you're ready. We're going to keep it this side for the whole 50 seconds. Crunch that knee to that elbow, hand to that foot. Make sure you guys are breathing. Woo, looking good. Almost there, almost there. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Rest it out, go to that other side. All right, get ready. Other side, start with that knee to elbow. Knee to elbow, hands to foot. If you can't fully touch your toe, that's totally fine. I am super not flexible, so it's definitely hard for me to touch it. If you're touching your knee, whatever works best for you. Keep it going. Nice strong core, you guys are rocking this.
Almost there, keep it going, you guys are rocking it. Three, two, and one. Nice job, you guys, rest it out. All right, what I want you guys to do next is come up on your elbows. We're gonna bring both our feet up. We're putting that foot down and up. Join me when you're ready. We're going down and up. We're gonna switch halfway through. If you feel better with one foot on the ground, you're just lifting one foot up, totally fine. Just make sure we switch halfway through. If not, I really want you guys to keep those legs as straight as you can. Again, not very flexible, so I definitely have a bend in my leg. Also with our form up here, I don't want you guys to have your elbows down by, or your shoulders up by your ears. I want you to press up nice and tall. We're switching, here we go, other side. Nice tall posture. Looking good, you guys. Working that lower core. Three, two, and one. Let it go. All right, you guys. Plant those feet on the floor. What we got next are called around the world crunches. So what we're doing is basically drawing a circle. So instead of just going up, we're going to go around to the right. Join me whenever you're ready and then around to the left. Now with our crunches, I don't want you guys to be going towards your feet. I want you to be lifting that chest up in the air. So we're lifting up to go around and then the other way. You should really feel this in your upper abdominals. Woo, I'm feeling out about you guys. Good time to make sure you're breathing. We're over halfway done with our workout. You guys keep rocking it. Almost there, less than 10. Five, or three, two, and one. Rest, you guys, nice work. All right, I want you guys to come up onto a plank. We're gonna reach back and try to reach for those toes. Go ahead. So we're coming back, trying to touch those shoelaces, and then finding back in our center, center into that basic plank formation. You guys are looking great, keep it going. I like to breathe once I get back down into that plank. If you guys need to take a rest, take it whenever you need. Get some water. 10 seconds here. Three, two, and one. All right, you guys, we're gonna lower it down. We're gonna work our lower backs. So what these are called, they're called Superman X's. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place our palms on top of each other, rest our forehead. We're gonna bring it up, come into a nice big X, bring it back to center, and down. So we're gonna bring it up, X, back, down. Up, X, back, and down. If you wanna leave your feet on the ground, that is totally fine. If you're feeling a little bit too much tension in that lower back, whenever we're working our core, it is so important to work this lower back because it makes up our core as well. Same with our obliques. They all shape the core, baby. Looking great, you guys, almost there. We got two more moves after this. You guys can do it, I believe in you. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Go ahead, rest it down. Get some water if you need. Like I said, we got two moves left. Next, we got mountain climbers. Bring our heart rates up just a little bit. Here we go. Three, two, and one. Here we go. If you need to slow this down to just some taps, go for it. But if you really want to challenge yourself, go ahead, pick up that speed. Also, sometimes I feel a little bit of pressure in my wrists. If that ever happens, you can come up onto your fist, pretend like you have dumbbells in your hand, and that'll take some of that tension off. Halfway there, keep it going, you guys. We got one move after this. Make sure you're breathing. 
My gaze is right between my hands. I'm not straining it forward or looking back at my toes. Just straight at the ground. Five seconds. Keep it going. Almost there. And whoo. That's it for that. Okay. Last move. We just got a normal low plank. You guys can do this. We got this last move. Here we go. Exercise. Nice and flat. Flat as a board. I don't want you guys piking up or dropping down. I also want that pelvis um, pivoted, I guess, forward. So instead of having it up here, we're really tucking it in. As soon as you tuck it, you'll feel, you're like, ooh, okay, I feel you, core. You guys got this. If you need to come down your knees, just keep that straight form in your upper body. We got 20 more seconds of our workout today. You guys are absolutely rocking it. We are almost there. Stay strong, breathe with me. Ten seconds, here we go. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it down nice and slow. Woo! You guys rock this today. Go ahead, press your hands up. Give me a nice little downward dog. You guys deserve it. Breathe in, give me a nice deep breath. Fill your lungs up with air, feel that stretch in your stomach. Whenever you're ready, go ahead and look back at your right heel. Bring it back to center and to the left. And back to center, go ahead, press your hips back. Come up into downward dog, I'm slipping on my towel a little bit. Pedal those feet out. This is a great workout to tack on to an end of your workout if you feel like you need a little bit more core work or just doing this on your own. This is what I've done today. Whew. Let me tell you, that, guy, that was really hard. You guys rocked it. Go ahead, slowly walk your hands to your feet. Let's just go ahead and rest here. We work those arms, we work those abs. You guys absolutely rocked it. Go ahead, bring it nice and slow up. Go ahead, breathe it up. Cross your feet over, whatever foot's in front, lean over to that side. Get a nice stretch in our obliques. Mm, that breeze feels good. All right, switch your feet, other side. Breathe up. My arms are shaking. <laughs> All right, you guys, let it go. Let's get two deep breaths and you are done for today. Breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. And let it go. Nice job today, you guys. Thank you so, so much for joining me. If you are not in Boulder, I'll just show you a quick view of the flatties. Looking so good as ever. All right. Thank you guys so much. I hope to see you next time. Bye.